This is part two of a few of the hottest startup rounds from last week, with six companies raising a combined $3.2 billion. General Intuition raised $133 million in seed funding, which is one of the largest AI seed rounds ever, led by Kosala Ventures and General Catalyst. Their mission is to train AI agents to better understand how objects and people move through space and time, also known as spatial temporal reasoning. The company is spun out of Metal, which is a gaming platform with over 2 billion video clips uploaded every year, which now provides a ton of training data to teach AI systems from video rather than text. They're essentially trying to give AI 3D intuition and teaching it physics, causality, and motion instead of just learning through language. In the short term, this will power smarter, adaptive NPCs in video games, but the longer term vision is to lay the foundation for robots, drones, and other embodied agents that can understand and interact with the physical world. Reflection AI raised $2 billion at an $8 billion valuation to become America's open frontier AI lab and directly challenge China's DeepSeek. Their investors include NVIDIA, Lightspeed, Speed, Sequoia, and Eric Schmidt. And the company is led by two former DeepMind researchers, Misha Laskin, who helped develop Gemini, and Yanis Antonoglu, who's one of the co-creators of AlphaGo. While today, OpenAI and Anthropic dominate the closed model landscape, Reflection's approach is the opposite. They want to build frontier-scale models, but also release the model weights so others can run and customize them. But they're keeping training data and infrastructure private, similar to Meta and Mistral's approach. The round pretty clearly signals growing momentum for more open, sovereign AI infrastructure, and many see Reflection AI as the US response to the global push for openness and control in the AI development world. And finally, Tempo raised a $500 million Series A at a $5 billion valuation led by Thrive and Green Oaks. Tempo is a payments-focused blockchain incubated inside Stripe, which we know powers millions of checkouts for websites. Today, most of our money still moves through banks and card networks like Swift or Visa, which often means slower settlement times and higher fees. But Tempo wants to change that by building faster, cheaper rails for transferring digital dollars or stable coins directly on chain, meaning real-time settlement and lower fees. It's also fully Ethereum compatible, so existing crypto apps can integrate easily, and it's designed to work with existing partners like Visa, OpenAI, and Shopify. And that's it for this week.